for our culture, for the Latinos, food is such a huge part of who we are because... Especially it's, getting it out in time. Exactly. And not exactly. burning. And we already burnt one dish. Now tell me, what are you making for our party today? Okay. It's all Louis Famous to begin with. Okay. So we have Louis Famous... Uh, Primavera, primavera ah, sauce. Primavera. This is Luis primavera sauce. All fresh vegetables, all made from scratch. Oh. Tomatoes uh, that are fresh. Um, Beautiful. Lots of vegetables: cauliflower, broccoli, zucchini, summer squash, cilantro, basil, uh, green peppers, Dutch yellow peppers. I mean, go to the farmers market and just pick up the goodies. Now, where's the Latin in that? So the Latin's in that because it's an Italian dish, but you know that I threw some chipotle in there. Oh. So, you know, even though Cuban Argentine, we find the chipotle and, you know, and then with the cilantro and the way that we add our salt and pepper and the ingredients, this isn't just your basic marinara sauce. This is a Latino, you know, sauce. So it's because a Latino tinged marinara. Absolutely, because it's got that spice, it's got that kick. Um, you know, I love a good Italian sauce, but this, you know, I can't deny it. This is a Latin American primavera, you know, Italian sauce. But, you know, it's got our special touch. And especially with that little kick of chipotle. Okay. And what I love about a good sauce is a sauce that's so thick that it's not this saucy sauce, but a sauce that almost you could eat with a fork. Mm. You know what? I love it because it, it has that Latin sofrito taste. And that's how I start cooking it. I cook it first as a sofrito. The olive oil, the mm -hmm. onions, the green peppers, el cilantro, sal pimienta, all the sauces, mm -hmm. you know. So I make the sofrito first, then I start adding the, the, so the tomatoes. What do you serve it with? I serve this with, see I have, you know, this you can actually, for veggies, mm -hmm. you know, for vegetarians, you can serve it by itself. But I love to serve it with meatballs, mm. what we call albondicas. And this are my, uh, these are my Louis famous uh, Bavarian, Swedish, Argentine meatballs. And what's Argentine about them? What's Argentine about them is that I put my fingers in it as I formed the meatballs. And you're Argentine. And I'm more Cuban Argentine, more Cuban than Argentine, but it's in there somewhere. And Bavarian because it's pepper. I like real peppery meatballs. Mm -hmm. And so that's what's in the meatballs and of course, and onions. These are just like, not just little plunkets of beef. There's onions, there's cilantro, there's, um, again, salt, fresh crushed pepper. There's basil, uh, lots of cilantro. I mean, mm -hmm. I love, my kitchen isn't smelling of cilantro brewing in it. It's just, it's not cooking. Sometimes I'm afraid, here, drink up. Sometimes I'm afraid to mix the basils with the cilantro, so like the Italian ingredients with the Latin ingredients, because I feel like they're going to clash. Should we be afraid of that? What I've done is that I use, you know, flakes of basil in the mix and flakes of cilantro, but real cilantro in it. Uh -huh. The real basil, I serve to add to it afterwards, right before I serve it. Okay. Because I found that if I chop the fresh basil in it, it doesn't give it the flavor that I want. So what I do is I pour, you know, cut basil on top of the meatballs right before I serve it. And that really works well, especially if you add sauce, but you can do it with or without sauce. Hmm. Okay. So that's that. But I like to start always without a, with a soup. I mean, I come from a family where grandma always made soup. We had soup for lunch. We had soup for dinner. And this is Louis' famous a Provencal white bean Latin American soup. Or if you want, un caldo gallego. No, and, and what makes it Latin American here, again, my chipotle, I added corn to it, mm -hmm. and then I serve it with sour cream, mm. and then with like a little eggplant mm. dip that but I pour right on top. That so requires here you go. some tasting. And there's chicken, and also there's chorizo from Spain. Ooh. That's what really takes it away from just being Provencal from the south of France and gives it that Latin American, mm. Latino Iberian. And it could flair. be a caldo gallego, kind of like a mix Absolutely. of a caldo gallego. Now, is this this is a recipe of the grandmother on the Cuban side or on the Argentine? This Argentine? is influence of grandma, but my own invention. And mm. a good cook always cooks with wine. Mm. Wonderful. What is this? Chardonnay. Mm, it's lovely. Now, for us Latinos, again, it's all about 
Cooking, eating, and nurturing our people, isn't it? Y sazón. Mm -hmm. Sazón. Okay, <laughs> this is wine tasting. I normally like only red wine, but I've got a white wine we've got to taste. Mari, okay. ya, ya la, I served the two We're of you. Ready. This is a white wine. From just a little, because you got to drink. We're going to be drinking four glasses of wines, ladies. <laughs> so this is from go, Portugal. Go we we this, can handle it. Oh, you don't it. like white either? Uh, we yeah. can handle it. Well, it's, oh, wait. It's bubbly like this champagne. This is a white wine from Portugal called Vinho Verde. Oh, it's got a slight Verde. green tint, and it's slightly effervescent. Okay. And I, you know, this is like a holiday of wine. Any day. Salud, salud, salud. 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 No somos griego, pero opa! Opa, here we go. <laughs> Eso está bueno, right? It's like, bueno. I call it the poor man's champagne. I love está this. Buena, Eso está bueno. Okay, let's llama? make room. Vino Verde from Portugal. There's a number of wines to that effect. Okay, now we're going to taste three red wines, and I need you to remember them as you sip them, and let's vote on which is the best one. So here we go. Ah, momento, tenemos que terminar. Down it, down it. Okay, Red wine number one. ¿Cómo se llama ese? Um, you're, we're Numero not finding uno. out till the end. Oh. Numero, uno. Numero uno. So remember which one you liked best. Numero uno. Numero uno. Here we go. Numero uno. Let's have our Buena quick. Fragancia. Okay. A nice bouquet. Here we go. Just like the first time. <laughs> okay. Here go. Just like the first time. I love that. Okay. Here we go. Red wine. Ooh, rico. Mm. Rico, suave. Mm. <laughs> just like my first, you know. <laughs> Okay, that was wine number one. Uh, wine number one. <laughs> I'm getting there already. I'm on my second wine. Okay, wine number two. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Drink okay, up, get please. ready, ladies. Can't wait for dinner. See, that's I'm one way to have a great dinner party is you, you serve lots of wine, you starve your guests, and then whatever you serve them, they love. Exactly. So here we go. Okay, here's wine number two. You got to remember which is your favorite wine. We're going to take a poll. I can't mix this. Do you care? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. This is number two. Okay, wine number two. Okay, taste your wine number two. I'll serve less next time. Salud, salud. What is it? Para arriba, para abajo? Para centro, para centro. Wow. Don't cheat. You're going to color our waters. Wait a second. That would, no, you're right. Number one. Number one. Well, okay, well, number one. So, what do you think? Number one? Okay. Okay. I think I need to taste number one again. No, no, wait a second. Okay, down that one. Here we have number three. Number three. Normally, we should do this slower. We should sip. We should. No. Number three? This is number, number three. three. Dame, 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 dame. Here we are, go. Are we like okay to do this? Because I'm like already. <laughs> Here we go. There's number three. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Oh, I will never forget you. Here we go. Number three. Here we go. You certainly got to give some wine to your sex therapist. You wouldn't want her without any. So here's number three. To the sex therapist, forget the wine. <laughs> so here's number three, and yes, I totally agree. Oh, Here number we go. one is the winner for me. They're all yeah, good. this was a little vinegary. Yeah. Little vinegary. Okay, can I have the tally? What's the list of wines? Someone wrote down the wines. If you can pass that to so me. So do we agree, though? Okay, do we agree? I think number one number was one? the best. Number one was the best? What Definitely. do you think? I like number two. I like dry wine. Okay, majority rules. Number one. How many vote for number one? Okay, I'm a good loser. <laughs> <laughs> number one Behind was from... Behind door number one. ...was from Chile. Viva Chile. Viva Chile, and it was a Cabernet Sauvignon. Mm -hmm. And the good thing about all these wines is these wines were $10. Wow. So anyway, it to a me. good wine, échate a little one. Just Let's have a good little toast. Here goes a little toast. Here goes a little toast. A little toast. Number one. Little toast. Okay. Little toast. Number one. Okay. You still have. I'm not drinking yours anymore. <laughs> Here we go to number one. Okay. <laughs> para arriba, para abajo, para el centro, y para dentro. Opa. That was great. Wow. And you know what? That is my favorite bottle that of wine. That was delicious. Rico. I love that. Oh, yeah.